if I served you this rice in a restaurant, you probably pay good money for it. But do you know this is leftover rice and you can transform your leftover rice to something as amazing as this. It is so easy to prepare. It is so delicious. It tastes different from any kind of rice recipe out there. And when you try it, you're going to know. So if you're interested in this kind of recipe, keep watching. Click the like button if you want more and subscribe if you haven't because more recipes are coming. My name is Yamisi. Welcome to my kitchen. I will highlight a few of the ingredients. So this is the rice I'm using for this recipe. This is basmati rice. When I did my last stir fry video, I got a lot of requests from people wanting to know what type of rice I used. And this is the exact rice that I use. Don't mind the video quality right now. It is actually very white when you see it. As you can see in that stir fry video, the color I have at least five different types of rice in my kitchen that I use for different purposes. And I feel like you have to use the right rice to match the occasion. So for this recipe, we're going to be using this version of basmati rice. The next ingredient that is going to affect the taste of this recipe is your shrimps. You can use chicken, um, and I think you can use beef, but they're just going to taste different. So I prefer shrimp for this recipe. It just makes it look good and it's easy to cook. If you're using big shrimps, make sure you devein it. And what I also like to do is I wash it and drain it. I make sure water is not dripping because when you start to stir fry this, a lot of water is going to come out of the shrimp and at the end of the day, that's going to ruin your stir fry, okay? This is going to be very, very spicy. So we're going to use a lot of pepper. <laughs> so I'm going to use this purple or red onion. And then I'm using one scotch bonnet. You guys, this just single one, it is so hot. It's not for kids. I'm also going to be using garlic because garlic gives it a very, very nice flavor. And then I'm using these long chilies. So they come in orange, red, green colors. And I'm just going to use it and then I'll be using some jalapeno peppers <laughs> see I told you this is not for children <laughs> I'm also using fish sauce I'm also going to be using soy sauce this is going to give it the saltiness the flavor and then I'm going to be using oyster sauce I use oyster sauce a lot for a lot of my stir fries and if you check my fridge you always find oyster sauce I'm also using some butter to give it more flavor the most important flavor we want to highlight in this dish is basil. So we're using basil leaves. They smell a bit like scent leaves, so sometimes you can always substitute scent leaf for basil. But if you can find basil, please use it. It is what this dish requires and it is going to give you lovely aroma, distinct flavor, and it is going to be so, so good. Now it's time to prep, prep, prep. So you can just take everything and put it in your processor or in your blender and blend it into chunks. But I really wanted to see the color of the pepper and just um, the onions and everything. So there are different ways you can make it. You can just put it in your mortar and use the pistol to just pound everything together. Any methods. I just don't want it to be a sauce. So I want to be able to see everything in the rice. So we had rice and stew a few days ago and I just put the leftover rice in the fridge but we've not had <laughs> electricity in a while for some days now and I'm like let's bring out that rice and eat it. By the time I whip this up it just looked like a new meal that I've just made and this is one fun way of repurposing dishes that you make. Now I'm just going to chop the garlic into little pieces and also chop the onions and set them aside. I want everything to be prepped and set aside because this is a very quick stir fry and the thing with stir fry dishes is they happen very fast. So immediately that pan goes on the cooker, 
<laughs> it is go, go, go. And in like five minutes, your food is ready. And that's not the time to be looking for onions or to be looking for one ingredient that you forgot to prep. So prep everything so that when you start cooking, everything goes in at the right time. For the basil, I'm just going to pluck the leaves from the stem. We're not going to chop it into little bits because we're just going to put it whole in the dish. And that's what gives it the unique look that it has. So this is the pan I use for my stir fries. It's called a wok. And I love it because it heats up so fast. By the time you put it on the cooker, in less than a minute, it is very, very hot. So it is perfect for stir fries. The first thing I'm going to do is put the butter in the pan and then I'll put some olive oil. This is just going to give it a very, very lovely flavor. You can use vegetable oil if that's what you have, or you can even just omit the butter. I just wanted it to be very indulgent. Next, I'm going to pour in the pepper. That's the first thing I'm pouring in and everywhere. <laughs> your nose will start itching you. It will tell you that pepper is cooking. And then I put the onions next. You can choose to put the onion first, but for this recipe and for some recipes that I do, I like to put the pepper first and the onion. The combination of the onion and the pepper is lovely. You should try it. So I'm putting the garlic in now. If I had put it during the initial process of stir frying before the pepper and the onions, it would have burnt. So burnt garlic is not something you want to taste in your food. So I'm putting it now for maximum flavor and to make sure it does not burn. Next, I'm putting in the shrimps. As you can see, they're really good and dry and they're not going to release a lot of juices while I'm cooking. And then I'm going to season it with just my everyday seasoning. It just has black pepper, white pepper, um, more pepper basically. <laughs> it also has just a little bit of salt. If you want to know what I put in my everyday seasoning, then let me know in the comment section. Shrimp doesn't take long to cook, so once it is cooked, we add in the rice. The rice is cold and it is just perfect. So we're just going to stir fry all of this. And you know what's interesting? At this stage, this rice can be served. <laughs> if you add more seasoning, this can be another recipe, but we're going to take it to another level. The first seasoning I'm going to use is soy sauce. It gives it a good color and it also tastes a bit salty. So always taste your sauces so that you know what they do in your dish. And the next one is oyster sauce. Oyster sauce is thicker than soy sauce and there are different types of soy sauces. But I love oyster sauce because it's a bit sweet. Then this is fish sauce. It tastes a bit fishy and you use it a lot in some Thai recipes. And this, by the way, is a Thai recipe. I was craving some <laughs> Thai food. I remember this Thai restaurant, a friend of mine, like me and some of my friends, we went to a while ago and I was craving what I had that day. So I just decided to recreate it for you guys. Once everything is properly combined, then it is the final stage where we add the final ingredient, the most important ingredient. I've washed and plucked my basil leaves and I'm just going to put them in the rice right now in this stir fry and then mix everything together. You can see the beautiful colors I was talking about. When you just stir everything, don't cook it for more than a few seconds after this because you don't want the vegetables to go black. <laughs> you still want it to have this vibrant green color. So this is what my spicy basil fried rice looks like. It was so yummy, so delicious. I would like you guys to try this recipe and let me know how you get on. If you try, please tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, social media basically. I want to see what your dish looks like. Also, please click the like button on this video. It supports my channel. And if you watched all the way till the end and you did not subscribe, why? 
click the subscribe button i'll see you in my next video bye